This is a way how you can install multi setups on your Linux PC and run it. Uh, this game runs pretty nice on it. For this, you will need, of course, GTA San Andreas video game, uh, and you will need to download a couple of software as well. Uh, first, uh, I like to use uh, uh, Play on Linux because it makes managing Wine software so much easier. You can download it from their official website. Uh, play on Linux. Uh, there is press download and there is uh, select the uh, package of your choice. I'm using Ubuntu, so they have a dev installer or a ter terminal command. Uh, whichever you prefer, install it like that. Press download on the dev and it will download that software and then you install or run a terminal command. Okay. Uh, after you install it, we must start it. Uh, you can start it from terminal or from the launcher. Okay, I would like to start it from a terminal. Okay, let's minimize this. Or you could start it from a launcher. Anyway, now we need to install Wine on it. Uh, I I tested this on 1.5.26 for this now for this time that is the latest Wine version. Uh, and make sure you select the 32-bit wine, uh, 8, 8, x86 is written on it. If there is a choice, then you should select x86. 5.5.27. Next. Okay, this will take some time. Okay, now let's close this and now we need to create a wine prefix. Press configure, press new, uh, select next 32 bit and the wine we installed. Select choose the name you want to call it. It's it's the you say you whatever name you want, type it in, I'm gonna call it GTA. Okay, this is creating a wine prefix. Okay, this will take some time. Okay, now it's created. Select GDA prefix and install a couple of packages. We need to install a couple of software. software. Microsoft Conf font, press that, install it. And we need to install Visual Studio 2008. Scroll down to VC uh -huh, and press install. Okay, I'm gonna re return. I'm gonna pause the video and, and press next if it tells you this. Pause the video and return after the installation is finished. Okay, great. Now we need to uh, run a GTA San Andreas setup exe from the game disk. For that, you will of course need a game disk. Okay, press misclick, um, whatever, and run exe. Run exe, select your game disk and press setup exe. Okay, open. Okay, I must warn you for this uh, game to work, you need to OK. And this is standard. Okay, next, next, next. Yes, I'll read this. Uh, okay. So I must warn you uh, that uh, for this we need to replace uh, a, uh, one file in this game. So your country's copyright law should give you the right, should give you the rights to do so. My country's copyright law gives me the, gives me the right to the, do this. So. Uh, look into this before you start uh, changing the exe file in this game or fiddling with the game at all. Okay, I'm gonna pause this video and come back after the installation is finished. Okay, great. Now we need to replace one file in the exe file to be. 
an exit file. Uh, press uh, open virtual virtual drive directory. Uh, now navigate to GTA folder. Uh, this exit file will be provided in the description below. The download for, for download link to it. GTA. Okay. And let's delete this file. GTA SAXE. Let's delete it. And uh, we need to replace it with this exe file. GTA exe. Okay. Let's replace it with this. Okay, that's, that's it. Uh, after this, uh, GTA San Andreas will run on your Linux PC. Let's press one configuration and we must uh, create a virtual desktop. You know, what is it that will create which it will start the GTA San Andreas in Windows mode to be precise? What it does, okay? Graphics emulate virtual desktop. Select the resolution you prefer and uh, auto log the cursor. We select that as well. Okay, apply. Okay. I selected the 722p. Make and now let's make a shortcut of GTA San Andreas. GTA San Andreas. Select the name of you, your choice. And that's it. This shortcut will start GTA San Andreas. Okay, let's test, test it first before we install multi theft auto press run as you can see the uh, resolution of this window changed because uh, it's it selected the resolution which game runs in it's uh, 800 on 600 if i'll change it and i'm gonna show it uh, uh, the desktop size will grow options and uh, display and advanced let's Change this resolution. Okay. Uh, you see, the resolution has grew, grew. Whatever. And yeah, game runs pretty good. I will say this. Okay, this lags because of uh, recording, not because the game lags, the recording lags. Okay, no, we don't need. Now we need to install Multiseft Auto. For this, we need to download uh, Multiseft Auto setup file. The link will be provided in the description below as well. Okay, Multiseft Auto, and you see a big download button in the middle. Press that and download the exe file, setup file. Okay. This will download it, but I have it downloaded already. And uh, let's install it. Uh, press exe file, run exe file, select uh, this auto setup file, and it will start the setup. Press next, 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 next. And press finish. Now if this error pops, ignore it. And let's make a multi theft auto shortcut as well. And select the name. Press next. And that's it. If you select um, multi theft auto shortcut, it will start multi theft auto. If you select San Andreas shortcut, it will start San Andreas. And that's it. Game runs uh, very well. Very good. Uh, okay. Okay, great. Uh, you will see that I'm gonna start a game on it, and uh, you will see that it runs pretty decently. Okay, thank you for watching. Mm, so, hope it was helpful.